And in Colombia, the Congress Commission in charge of investigating President Ivan Duque for allegedly receiving drug money in 2018 for his electoral campaign decided to file the case. We will tell you why with our correspondent Hernán Tobar on the scene. The Colombian Congress voted in favor of filing an investigation being carried out by the Accusation Commission against President Ivan Duque for the alleged income of illegal resources to his 2018 presidential campaign. The motion was approved with 12 in favor, arguing that the evidence collected was not convincing and did not account for the crime. It is regrettable that one of the most controversial investigations of campaign financing in recent years has been filed because here President Duque and former President Uribe are accused of having allegedly interceded to receive money from Nene Hernandez, money from narco politics to buy votes in La Guajira and Cesar, and that there has not been a serious investigation to determine whether or not President Duque was guilty of buying votes. In 2020, some media revealed that there were audios between Kaya Daza, advisor for Álvaro Uribe and Ivan Duque's presidential campaign, and drug traffickers José Guillermo Hernández, which gave evidences about alleged vote buying and the delivery of hidden money, evidences that for the investigation and accusation commission were not convincing. Analysts point out that this body does not provide justice but impunity. It has been publicly known is that there is evidence that would allow the Accusations Commission to carry a really serious investigation to finally accuse President Duque. But I repeat, in Colombia, we cannot expect the Accusation Commission to apply justice in a serious and effective way. The Investigation and Accusation Commission is not an autonomous body and is considered to be politically oriented. Most of its members who are in charge of the investigations are members of the ruling coalition parties. The bottom line here is that politics is damaged, electoral politics are damaged between the first and the second round. There are always illegal sponsorships and financing and we have been seeing that at least since 2014 in one way or another. The National Electoral Council does not work, the Auditor General's Office does not work, the Attorney General's Office does not work and neither does the Accusation Commission of the House of Representatives. And it would seem that the institutions are not there to enforce the law but to prevent the law from being enforced. In this context, Senator Gustavo Petro presented a motion for legal action because Oscar Villamizar, president of the commission and investigator, is a member of the Democratic Center of the ruling party and was asked to remove himself from the vote because he had clear political interests in the case. However, the request was not accepted, arguing that the motion had arrived out of time. Hernán Darío Tobar, Telesur, Bogotá, Colombia.